Okay, so today is November 3rd, election day over here in the USA, and I've uh, been meaning to do this video, but I'm doing it today here. Um, so <clears throat> um, I just wanted to encourage everybody to not be afraid to go out and um, vote, you know, and, and I wanted to encourage people to vote in person because I personally don't trust the mail-in ballots. Um, I personally, as a whistleblower, have had a lot of problems with my mail um being lost or not getting my mail or you know various different things so you know i don't know exactly what the issue is with the post office but i know that i've had tons and tons of problems with the post office so um and it, it seems to be something um a higher level like something involving the united nations i don't know exactly what it is but they're not really a government agency they're kind of like uh, their own entity private entity so that's why I just don't even know what to think of the post office. So, but uh, I wanted to read something that's really important and pertinent um, today. And uh, because I, you know, a lot of people don't really, there's a much bigger picture going on here besides just an election in the United States. I mean, for those are, who aren't aware, I'm going to explain some things today. This is not just about an election here. Um, this is about a whole, um, they're trying to, they've been trying to overthrow a duly elected president and, and who this is, is, you know, not enough people are talking about this part. You know, this is a, a globalist agenda that's been pushing against president Trump, um, since he started. And, uh, you know, we're one of the few great powers that are trying to uh, push back and that, you know, have the power to do so. So that's why it's so important, this election. Um, so I'm going to read something that, um, that really explains it really well that was written by uh, Michael Tellinger. He's a South African author, author and politician, explorer, founder of Ubinti Party of South Africa, which apparently supports a supply of the resources of across society. Um, so this is what he says um, in like a Twitter. Um, he said it, he just explained it really well and I am also just explaining it. So for my friends in the USA, please be aware that your country and your president are under a full blown attack by the same Rothschild funded Zionist Bolshevik insurgent agents that have caused most of the destruction and chaos in the world over the past 250 years. This is the most dangerous organized crime syndicate on earth. And uh, also just my own plug uh, for my own, you know, since my own story was about John McCain, John McCain was a part of this global uh, organization crime syndicate. So uh, that's why I, one of the reasons why I've been in so much danger for years. But, um, Okay, so they have killed, this global syndicate, have killed presidents, started wars, overturned governments, abducted, tortured, extorted, bribed, murdered millions of people to regain their control over most of the world's governments. Among more of their most famous victims have been Andrew Jackson, Abraham Lincoln, Archduke Franz Ferdinand, 1914, Tsar Nikolai Romanov, 8, 1918, John F. Kennedy, from here, 1963, Henrik Verwood, South African Prime Minister, 1966, and many uh, other world leaders that anyone who has specifically tried to defy the banking system, okay, and that was another victim was uh, Omar Gaddafi, so he tried to come against the banking global syndicate. This is a Rothschild syndicate. Okay, so what has happened is President Donald Trump is the first leader that has broken that control and removed them from power in the USA by taking over the Federal Reserve. Okay, so this this has happened. Of, of, of people that are not aware that this has happened, this happened in March of this year. Um, the Federal Reserve has been taken over, is my understanding. It's called something called a Nasera. Uh, you'll have to, you know, that'll, I'm sure, come out more. Uh, but it's basically a global reset happened. Um, I, that's one of the reasons why everything was shut down initially. So, and, and not, nobody, ex 
president. Trump certainly didn't expect, didn't plan on shutting everything down for a long period, but everything, my understanding is that everything did have to be shut down for a short period because there was this global reset happening. And that's another thing that people aren't talking about that's important. Um, so this was apparently what J John F. Kennedy was trying to do in the 1960s, and that's one of the reasons why he got assassinated. So this is, so this is, uh, Michael Tellinger says, so this is why the attacks on him have been so vicious and relentless and have come from all sides. The USA was always Rothschild's strongest territory to control the rest of the world. The globalist criminals have pulled out all the stops to overturn this president, tr tr President Trump. They have <clears throat> activated and unleashed basically all of their assets. You know, it just it's just nonstop. It's been nonstop. So, so understanding that what Trump has achieved this. Um, taken over the he you know he is actually the first president that has actually achieved achieved this okay a global reset or nasera this is one of the main reasons why everything was shut down okay so since trump controls the controls the fed and the main tools so since trump controls the federal reserve now one of the only main tools left is the mainstream media so you know they have uh that's one of the they're so adamant on their lies and propaganda trying to poison your mind so if trump wins the globalists will finally be destroyed they could finally be destroyed after 250 years of control trump's victory will liberate all other countries that have been under rothschild control okay so this is more than just our country whether you like him or not, he is the only leader in history that has succeeded in hijacking the federal banking system. I mean, the central banking system, the Rothschild system. This happened quietly in March of 2020 without any media coverage because the media is owned by the same Rothschild syndicate uh, globalist system. Uh, Trump's Trump's victory against the deep state and their communist, Zionist, Bolshevik agents is not just about the USA surviving, it's about liberating the entire world. So do the right thing and vote for Donald Trump. Okay, that's my message, and that's the message from other people in the world that understand what's happening. You know, it's not, there's not a lot of other people that are aware, like this guy, in different areas of Europe and South Africa that they understand how important this election is, but some people right here in our country still don't understand that. So I wanted to share that. That was really well written. And um, I, I found some charts here that kind of explain this too that I just wanted to share briefly, but I mostly just wanted to share that message today. But, um, you know, as a person that tried to expose John McCain or part of this global at syndicate, I've become something called a targeted individual. And, um, you know, and I've talked to, and I've mentioned this on my website, on my, on other YouTube channels when I was saying, you know, we need uh, more support as targeted individuals. Well, okay. I found just, if you Google targeted individual diagrams, there's charts that show up. Okay. So if you can see, this is, uh, these are actual charts that I found right on the internet. Okay, so anybody that tries to say that, um, you know, that we're, we're over-exaggerating or we're, um, we're, not tell we're not telling the truth or we're crazy or, you know, I mean, just, you know, these, these, these programs are very, very, uh, these, these are programs that have been created by the Rothschild globalist people that I have just been talking about. And these have been um, going on in our country for a long time. It, they involve the targeted individual program. So these are these are all the organizations that have targeted people like me, or um, you know other whistleblowers or people that try to go against this globalist syndicate. So it involves the uh, CIA in Denver. It involves the uh, um, the it did involve the DOJ and the FBI, but that's getting cleaned up. Think under Trump. 
It involves an organization called the Fusion Centers that are involved in um, f trying to fraud you out of money, gang stalking, break-ins, chemical attacks. They try to isolate you by destroying your family. It involves uh, Schreiber Air Force Base. Um, Lockhead GPS satellite tracking, targeting, um, you know, specific individuals, specific cell phone tower attacks. They block any kind of legal help that you try to get. Okay, these are just, just, this is the, the same globalist syndicate that put this together. I mean, you can look at this chart. You know, these are the charts I'm finding online. And, um, you know, this is the actual... These are actual charts that you can find on the internet that explain, you know, what these people that have been up to, these globalists. And this is um, in other countries, too. Um, deep state database, you know, for targeted individuals. You know, these are actual charts that show up right when you Google targeted individual program. Okay, so, and this one talks about non-investigative subject targeted oh there's our in this this one talks about the targeted individuals of Europe, Asia and Africa. It's called a tide database. Um it involved uh national Car counterterrorism centers. Um to, uh the FBI, there's a lot of FBI that is part of this targeted individual program. That's why the FBI here w was so corrupted. And um let's see and then just a couple other charts, but, uh, you know, so, I mean, this has been, uh, this globalist syndicate has created this for years, you know, and then, um, you know, any, anybody that tries to, there's very few people that have survived. I'm one of the very few that have actually survived, tried to expose someone involved in their organization or anything involved in, you know, there's very few people that survive these type of programs. And, um, it's called something called gang stalking. Oh, there's directed energy weapons that they can use against you. And that's been a part of it. You know, this one talks about some of the directed energy weapons. You know, um, so, um, you know, so, I mean, these are very real, uh, you know, these are very real things. And, and then it talks about um, some people that have actually been interviewed now that are exposing this and admitting. Um, the CIA, this is from a quote from Ted Gunderson, who is a former FBI chief. The CIA and FBI are behind most, if not all, terrorism. Nice, okay. Then uh, the CIA formed ISIS, is what Wayne Madsen said formal naval officer and NSA officer. Okay, so, and John McCain was Navy, and he was very much a part of this, you know, this, these uh, organized globalist operations. The CIA is funding ISIS through secret Swiss bank accounts. This is what Dr. Scott Burnett, Burnett had, has said, Army intelligence officer. Um, Jim Stone apparently um, said that 30 FBI agents checked into Mandalay Bay Hotel two days before the shooting in Las Vegas. You know, like the FBI is part of the deep state. It was. Most terrorists are false flag terrorists are created by our own security services. Um, this is from David Steele, Marine Intelligence Officer and former CIA officer. Okay, so, you know, these, these have been organized operations going on in our country and worldwide for years. And, you know, we have a chance to actually break, through, break free from this once and for all that have been go happening for 250 years. So, I mean, um, <clears throat> you know, this, this is not a time to be uh, afraid to vote. You know, this is, you know, not a time to, um, you know, this is just... And, you know, there's not, a, there's no reason to be afraid. And, and this is, it's so important. And it's so important to just go out and vote personally, in my opinion. So just wanted to do this video today. And I voted for Trump, of course, and 
just wanted to uh, say God bless everybody and God bless the USA and the rest of the world.